Hi, it's Peter Cullen here from Intraludo. Uh, I, as you can see, I'm on the Bleco Beta homepage. I was lucky enough to get an invite from Danny O'Sullivan over at Search Engine Land. Thanks very much, Danny. Um, I was I commented on his blog yesterday, and I was one of the one of the lucky first fifteen. So I just wanted to do a couple of videos on on Bleco and what it is and how it's different. Um, and you can see down here slash the web seems to be their um, their uh, tagline. Um, so let's um, just run it through the spaces and do a couple of comparisons with uh, Google and see what comes back. So we start with a fairly generic iPhone search. Type it in. As you can see, what's it's coming back here is just a, a list of websites. Nothing um, really unusual about that. Apple, Wikipedia, CNET uh, in the top there. Uh, if you do a similar search in Google for iPhone, you can see obviously sponsored results, which are obviously not in Bleco at this time, um, but there is plenty of room for them. Uh, <clears throat> what comes back is Apple, Wikipedia, uh, CNET, so similar types of results. Um, but you can also see that uh, there's some shopping uh, feed in here for the iPhone. Um, so slash the web, as you saw, was their tagline. So what is that? So they use Blacko uses uh, slash tags to help you filter your results and get more accurate results. So let's say we're looking for reviews of the iPhone. So we just type in iPhone forward slash reviews. And you can see that we get some a different set of results back, um, and these results are very much focused on reviewing the iPhone. You can see the top one there is from CNET. If we did a similar thing in Google, iPhone uh, reviews, again we get the same result at the top CNET. Um, so this slash tag is, you're probably going to get equal uh, quality of, of results. Um, when they're returned. Let's say you want to sort the reviews by date. You can add or append another slash tag um, and again the CNET one comes up top but you get different results underneath it. Adding, uh, you can't add a slash tag to Google but you can obviously uh, sort by date. Down here, you know, the past 24 hours um, past week, past month, you know, custom range. Let's say you want only the results um, in July. Very, very focused. So again, would you switch over to Bleco? Um, there isn't a huge amount of um, differentiation there. It's just, it's in how they go about it. Uh, let's try a different type of uh, research. Uh, search. Let's say uh, search on a person. David Cameron, UK Prime Minister. Okay, you see results coming back here. Guardian, Telegraph. Uh, this is London, Ted, Mirror. Similar search in Google brings back at the top more recent results, news for David Cameron, um, and then you get again the standard Wikipedia and you see that the Guardian, the BBC, Telegraph, and you also get some images down here. So the research results page is a bit more uh, multimedia uh, friendly, it has some images, it has some links to um, latest uh, news, and obviously you have the options over here for video or blogs or social media and updates. So quite a few things you can do there. Um, let's say in Blacko we're looking for David Cameron, but we're looking for some gossip about him. See. So here you can use the slash tag gossip and you'll get different results back. You'll get results about, you know, from example there, Hello Magazine, which are um, talking about David Cameron, maybe in a less political light. Uh, similar results um, are search on uh, Google. What what does it bring back? Um, again, it, br it is bringing back the, the 
types of uh, different websites that are more focused on, on gossip. And again, you have the access to the universal search results here very easily, or you have the, the timestamp as well where you can um, bring back results. So again, you know, it's not hugely dissimilar from each other. Um, but possibly where Blackout does seem to outdo the existing search engines, and I know I'm only comparing here to Google, but let's face it, that is what it's going to be compared against. If we're looking for websites or information about David Cameron that are coming from a conservative viewpoint or conservative um, blogs or websites, conservative. you can see it's coming back here with... Um, I have to say US focused type websites you would maybe expect more uh, UK sites and again I can go on the slash date and get latest news or let's say I want a different political viewpoint let's say I want liberal and um, you get the Huffington Post, New Statesman Again, a real lack of UK focused type results. You can add the slash tag to um, get the more recent ones. But I think if Bleco look at focusing on and maybe offering um, eventually country specific results, these type of slash tags would be very, very useful. Uh, how do you set up a slash tag? You can see on the left hand side here I'm logged in. You just create a slash tag. You can enter the slash tag name, let's say. Uh, I enter uh, search uh, it's telling me it's available um, description and let's say I want to when I type in a search I want to um, get results back from TechCrunch and let's say I want to get also results back from clickz.com uh, marketing Profs.com, SearchEngineLand.com. So I'm just setting up the slash tag. So it's calling it search, and it's just going to bring back results from websites that I have specified here. So I'm doing my own filtering up front. And there's obviously pros and cons to that. I I can search these websites on an ongoing basis, but I might be missing out on. Um, different websites that I'm not, not aware of, uh, maybe new websites, um, maybe some great articles on, on new websites that I, don't, I wouldn't have access if I just continually focused uh, on this, this area. So if we create that slash tag, you can see that I've listed now these four websites in that slash tag, so I can do a search. Let's say I do a search and social media. And what this is going to bring back, it's going to bring back results just focusing on these four websites. Do a search. So you can see here, one of 20 of 87 slash tag results for search and social media from the slash tag computer search. Marketing profs, click Z, search engine land. So it's very specific. So I'm going to do another video about uh, the results and what all these guys up here, tags, SEO, links, cache, IP and spam are going to show you. Um, but for the moment, um, that's an introduction to Bleco and slash tags. Thanks for listening.